So let's take this wisdom and use it to overcome the problem of suffering. Most people misuse the process of dependent origination. And so when they become something, it winds up in suffering. And when they get to suffering, they say, oh, no, I don't want this suffering. I'll become something else, and that way I won't suffer. So they go back to the beginning, still ignorant of the Four Noble Truths, still ignorant of the laws of dependent origination and so on, and they start the whole thing all over again. And that's why there's reincarnation. That's why people go round and round, huh? Do it again. <laughs> we we'll go in round and round and go back, Jack. Do it again until you're sick and tired of it. And that's when you approach the teaching of the Buddha. You say, okay, I'm tired of the suffering. I want it over. I want it finished. And at that point, you become a candidate for the Eightfold Path. That's why in our process of skillful living, we make frequent references to the teachings of the Buddha. Now, times have changed since he gave this teaching. And people's lives are a lot different now than they were then, at least externally. However, the principles of becoming are still the same. And so we're going to use these principles. So in the beginning, you can achieve satisfaction of being whatever you want, becoming a genius in whatever field you want, whatever your interest is, and attaining satisfaction in life. And from there, we'll go on up the Eightfold Path.